Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about Open Core Legacy Patcher version 2.12 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. A few days ago, OCLP version 2.1.2 was released. 2.1.2 is a bug fix release for 2.1 Neuro and 2.1.1 regarding certain GUI settings saving incorrectly. With the release of Open Core Legacy Patcher 2.1.2, this version will primarily focus on stability and bug fixes. However, this release does support settings retention in the GUI, allowing users to save settings between runs and updates. Moving forward and talking about OCLP version 2.1.2 full change log. Add additional error handling for when building open core errors out prevents broken EFI from being installed to disk. Add additional error handling for broken settings file from OCLP 2.1.0 if typing for settings is wrong, app will skip setting it, delete from settings file, and use default. Delete users shared.com.ortania.opencore just legacy patcher.plist and restart app to avoid this issue. Add additional warning about OCLP 2.1.0 bug where certain settings saved incorrectly. Delete users shared com.ortania.opencore legacy patcher.plistart app if type error unsupported type class none type error occurs. So that was it for the OCLP version 2.1.2 update. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. To update to the current release of OCLP, click on Download and Install, and the new version will be downloaded and installed as well. When you get the success message, click on Yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option, and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which Mac OS is installed. And after that, click on the EFI partition and enter the password when prompted. When you get the success message, click on Yes from the menu. Click on the Start Root Patching option and proceed with all the prompts. Once you get this message, click on the Reboot option and then restart your Mac and you're done.
and the Mac still boots up without any issues. Now let me also check whether the macOS update is being fetched or not. And here you can see, the macOS Sequoia 15.1 update is available for this unsupported Mac. So that was all about this OCLP version 2.2 update. So that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.